Well, brilliant. How could it not be? A McGarrigal song done by John Smith and Catherine Pretty. John and Catherine heading out on tour as a duo. Unmissable. First gig in uh, Sunderland on the 2nd of November, going through Selby, Otley, Cockermouth, Chester, Manchester, Shrewsbury, Berkhamsted, Totnes, Corsham, Teddington, Winchester and Colchester. Catch them. Uh, be back next Wednesday at nine, talking to Angeline Morrison's collaborator, Eliza Carthy, about her new album, marking 30 years in music. Stand by for Trevor Nelson's Magnificent Seven after the news. Thanks for listening. This was a seven digital production for BBC Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Justine Green. Liz Truss has been meeting the 1922 Committee of Conservative Backbenchers this evening as she tries to shore up support for the government's economic plans. Earlier at her first Prime Minister's question since last month's mini-budget, Ms Truss insisted she wouldn't cut public spending to pay for her package of tax cuts. The Institute for Fiscal Studies says ministers need to find £62 billion to cover it. Vicky Young reports. The effects of the mini-budget are reverberating through financial markets and along the benches of Conservative MPs. They'll have to wait until the end of October to hear the Chancellor's detailed economic plan, setting out how he'll get debt falling after borrowing billions more to pay for tax cuts, which he hopes will stimulate growth. But many Conservative MPs are jittery. They fear the government's boxed in and potential solutions are politically unpalatable. Phone lines run by NHS Blood and Transplant to organise donations have seen a spike in calls after the service warned that stocks in England have dropped to critically low levels. An Amber Alert has been declared for the first time. A jury in the US state of Connecticut has ordered the conspiracy theorist Alex Jones to pay around £870 million in damages to the families of victims of the Sandy Hook massacre. The right-wing broadcaster falsely claimed that the shooting was staged by the government to try to tighten gun controls. The World Health Organization says 39 people have died in an outbreak of Ebola which began in Uganda last month. The government has confirmed the first death in the capital Kampala. The head of the WHO, Dr Tedros Adhanam Ghebreyesus, says the disease must be contained. More than 660 contacts are currently under active follow-up. Our primary focus now is to support the government of Uganda to rapidly control and contain this outbreak to stop it spreading to neighbouring districts and neighbouring countries. A court has heard how a nurse accused of murdering babies on a neonatal ward killed a premature girl on the fourth attempt before sending her parents a sympathy card. Lucy Letby denies killing seven babies and attempting to murder ten more at a hospital in Chester. Scientists in Australia have grown brain cells in a lab, wired them to a computer and taught them to play the 1970s tennis video game Pong. An article in the journal Neuron says the mini brain can sense and respond to its environment. Professor Brett Kagan led the research. Right now we have the chance for drug discovery, disease modelling and understanding intelligence. The next stage could open up options such as cybersecurity management or uh, more autonomous devices and finally perhaps we could even lead to sentient and fully uh, autonomous robots that can act and change in the real world. And the weather cloudy with rain in southern areas, dry and clear in the north but a few showers in the northwest. That's the BBC News, it's three minutes past ten. Thanks Justine and thank you Mr Mark. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Uh, last night at the end of the show, I promised you uh, I'll be back at the same time. Tonight, just different tunes, similar kind of show, and that's what I've got in store for you. The Magnificent Seven, seven hand-picked tunes to kickstart our show, rearing to go. If you've had anything like a magnificent day, please get in touch with us. The Magnificent Seven on BBC Radio 2. Now, when I say magnificent, I mean someone paid for dinner for you or something. Well, you've got some good news today. 88291 on text, WhatsApp 08000 288 291 or email me trevor at bbc.co.uk.